All right then, so sometimes when you're making Go programs, you probably want to make more than one file, right? You don't want to do everything inside this one single main.go file. And we can do that. So I'm going to explain how we can use different variables and functions from one file in another, as long as they're all in the same package, right? So let's create a new file, and I'm going to call this greetings.go. All right, if I can spell it. So inside here, we still want to say package main like that because it's part of the main package and if we don't do that then we're not going to be able to share variables and functions between these two files but now go knows they're both part of the same package together all right then so inside this file we don't have a main function like we discussed before this main function only appears once in your program and since these are in the same package they're going to be part of the same program that we create we don't then make a main file in here because the main file is like the entry point to the application and there should only be one, okay? Anyway, inside this greetings file, I'm going to just paste in a couple of things. So we have a variable here called points and that's a slice of integers. We have a few different integers inside here. We also have this thing, say hello, and that takes in a string, that function, and it just prints out hello and then whatever the string is. So that should be some kind of name, right? Now we're getting this error right here because we're using the FMT package, but we're not importing it. So let's do that. We say import and it's going to be FMT. All right. So we have this file. Now, since this is part of the package main, anything we declare inside this file, the variables and the functions at the top level of the file, they're automatically made accessible in any other file that is in package main, including at the minute, main.go so if i wanted to i could use this function and i could also use this variable inside this file and i could use them inside this main function inside here so let's just give this a whirl i'm first of all going to say say hello that was the function name right i think let's have a look yes yeah, say hello and we pass in some kind of name so i'm just going to pass in mario right so we're just using this function that's defined here so that's pretty nice. They're automatically connected, these files, so we can just use these functions and values in other files in the same package. All right, so I can also use the points slice. So what I'm going to do is just cycle through those down here using a for loop. I don't want the index, so underscore. I do want the value. Colon equals range points. So it doesn't matter, again, that points is not defined inside this file because Go is going to look inside any file, which is part of the main package, and find the points, and we can use it inside this file. So all I'm going to do is fnt.print line, and then we just print out V, the number of points. So first of all, we should get this printed to the console and then all of the points. Let's save this and give this a whirl. I'm going to just clear the console, give us a bit of room, and then I'm going to run the file, go run main.go, and we get an error. And it says right here, undefined, say hello, and undefined points. Now, I said a minute ago that they're automatically made accessible to us in this file, and they are. It's just that we have to also run the file. At the minute, we're only running main.go, but if we have other files as well, we have to run them separately inside the same command, but we have to specify that we want to run that file as well. So I would say instead, go run main.go, but also greetings.go to run both of these files. And now we can see it works. All right. So now we get hello, Mario, and then we get all the points. Awesome. So that's working. And this works the other way as well. If I create some kind of variable inside this file, I can access it over here. So let's see that in action. So I'm going to create the variable up here. I'm going to say var score is equal to, and um, we'll just say 99.5. So Go is going to infer this type for us to be a float. And now we can use this score variable inside this file. So let me just save this file first of all and then over here let's use that score value. So what I'm going to do is create another function over here func and we'll call this show score and inside here we'll say fmt.print line 
and then I'm going to say you scored this many points and then I'll output the score variable like so. Is it called score? Yeah, it's called score. I'm going to save this and now if I run this file, in fact, we have to call this function. So let me go over here and do that below here. The function is called show score. So let me invoke that. I'm going to save this. I'm going to run both of the files again. And now we can see you scored this many points. So that has worked. And by the way, I just want to show you what happens if I place this inside the main function over here, like so. If I save this and run it, then we can see undefined score. And that's because now this is not inside the package scope because it's inside this main function. And inside this file, we don't automatically get access to anything inside the main function. It has to be declared at the root level up here. All right, otherwise we can't access it in other files. Anyway, hopefully that explains a little bit about package scope and how we can use variables and functions across multiple files.